everyone, it is Streamplays here, back here in another video, I hope you guys are doing great, it's been just a bit, not too long, uh, yesterday we did have a great live stream, and yes, that was amazing, so thank you guys for everyone who made it, um, I'm probably going to do one tonight, but um, this video is not going to be uploaded until like, I'm back from stream break, so hope you guys did have a good stream break if you did. Um, before we start this video, please feel free to subscribe and click that notifications button, it means so much to me guys, um, we actually did hit 3.5k subs guys. Uh um, we actually did hit 3.5k Damn! That is amazing. Uh, so let's get to 4k and while we're at it, let's try and get to 5k because uh, that's that's a lot. Imagination! Um, and join the Discord because while we're at 5k, I'm going to do another giveaway. Maybe we'll do one at 4k, we'll see here. But I'm going to do one at 5k for sure. Um, and also join the group. It is in the description. Um, and it means a lot if you guys do. So yeah, feel free to join the group. Um, and yeah, let's get right into this. So um, today we are actually going to be doing the core blocks command. Now a lot of you guys have been wondering, oh twin, uh, make one and headless and all that jazz. I didn't want to make a core blocks, but since people have been asking, I might as well make one. Uh, we made a headless, so let's just make a core blocks. Now they both implement the same thing, but on the other hand, you can't. Uh, there aren't two commands. There's only one command. I'll show you a bit in a second here. But um, yeah, so welcome. Uh, you can watch the other videos if you want to. So basically, go in the description, look for models, and find Corvox command. Now it will you you pop up with this, and you're able to just click it right here, and it will say item owned. So once you have it, you have it. Um, but um, yeah, and you're gonna go to your toolbox. It will be in Roblox Studio, and you'll go here, go to your inventory, and my webcam's in the way, but it doesn't matter. Be right here. You guys can. Basically, what I'm trying to say, and you'll click it, and you should get two scripts. Now, two scripts, okay, for one of them being in Game Pass and the other one not being in Game Pass. Now, as you can tell, of course, I, uh, in the last few, did forgot to do the Game Pass one, but I put it in the comments, so if you are looking for the Headless Game Pass, I did there. Now, there's a lot of these. Um, you could do ways of making it where if a player joins, they immediately have a core blocks leg. Or when they do the command, I think the command's best, guys. So I want to give this to you. I recommend doing this instead because people don't, they shouldn't just get forced onto it. That's not the reason for it. Now, like I said, you can make a core blocks command, I mean, core blocks game pass or headless game pass. There's all those cool things. So we're going to open up both of these. Now, as you can see, they are in service script service. So make sure to put those in service script service because that is where they belong. And basically, game pass is disabled because. You know, the normal one's the normal one. But if you are looking for the Game Pass, then you're going to just get rid of the other one. But um, don't have both in there. Just have one of them. So choose what you like. But let's go over this. Now, we kind of did the same thing as in the headless. But instead of doing uncore blocks, I because I actually had no idea on how to do that. Like, I don't know how to go back to their default leg. I was doing some research on it. Um, but I couldn't figure it out. I could have done a way of waiting, grabbing the humanoid and grabbing its original leg, but I don't really know how to do that. To me, it's not really possible um, for me. Uh, but at the moment, we're doing this. So what we're doing is we're making a command, and it's going to be slash core box slash core box with a space at the end, just in case someone does a space. So they keep that. Um, but you can change these guys to like at if you'd like. You can just at it's your choice. Do whatever you'd like. Um, but this is the main function. It's pretty simple, and we're going to show you here. When the player gets added to the game, we are going to call it a player. So this function is defining the player. And then when the player's character gets added to the game, we are going to grab its character. Now the character is uh, basically what we're using to find the humanoid. So we're grabbing the character, and then we're also grabbing when the player chats, their message. So their message. When a player yourself chats, we're gonna grab their message. So we're also gonna be grabbing their humanoid of the character. So humanoids is is inside character, by the way. It's not inside player. You can't do player.humanoid. It's in character. Um, and then we're gonna find the humanoid. And this is the new thing I learned. I didn't know this was a thing. I searched it up and it's pretty sick. Um there's get applied description. That is like all the humanoids things. So like you can do right leg, torso, face eyes i mean whatever head hair all the accessories all that jazz 
and we're grabbing the description and then we're going to its right leg, so our humanoid, our player's right leg, and we're changing it to the Korox leg ID. Now, of course, like I said, this is the ID for the Korox leg that everyone likes, and you keep that there. So that is literally what it is. This is the Korox leg ID, and you put it there. And then if the command, so this is the starting and this is the ending. So if the command matches, and it's lowercase or uppercase, if the command matches what the player said, then we're going to go humanoid, apply description. So this is where we're, we're getting the humanoid's description right here. So we're getting its body parts. And then we're actually going to apply a new body part to them. And then we're going to do a description, which is this right leg for the core blocks. So that's how we're doing it. So we're literally just doing it where we're going to grab, uh, when they say the command, it's basically going to apply the core box leg. Super simple, you guys. And I'm going to show you in the game in just a second here. Now, if you guys want, you could also do the uh, core box leg left leg by doing description left leg equals that. And then doing comma right here and do description too. So that's pretty cool. You could do that. Um, but yeah. And then uh, this is for the game pass. And the game pass is a little different, but pretty much the same. So when you create your game pass, you're going to go to your game pass ID, which is going to be this nine number. It should be in the top of the link. So get your game pass ID. And we're going to the same thing, but now we're grabbing the user ID. And the user ID is your nine number for your player. So kind of same kind of thing. And we're going to player bought this game pass. So it's going to be another local. And we're checking if they bought the game pass. We're going to go to the marketplace service, which is in the whole thing. And if they own it, so we're going to use if they own it. And user ID game pass, which is going to be that number. And same thing. So now we're doing it where if player bought this game pass. So if they did, and then they also chatted, then they'll get the leg. But if they don't own the game pass, they won't get the leg. So that's how we're doing it, because this is a this starting here to else to end right here is this whole function by itself, this whole statement, this whole if statement, and then starting here to here is this whole statement. So we don't want to put the else in here, but we wanted to put it outside because what we're doing is we're checking if they bought the game pass, and if they don't have it, it's gonna print to output doesn't own game pass. So that's how that works. So I'm gonna get rid of the game pass one because I don't need it. Uh, I actually have this for everyone because. A lot of people might want it, you know, just for fun. Also, guys, I'm working on the level command. Uh, I'm a little struggling with it. And by the way, level command means basically the person is able to uh, grab a level. Like they get to do slash give player and then 100, and it'll give them a certain thing. Um, but yeah, I didn't do that. It's not going to have like cash or minutes. It's just going to be one thing. So it's just probably going to be like, you don't want to do minutes. So you can do that. And you can also create a second one. Let's just say that. So that's pretty cool to think about. Okay. So, as you can see my player, I'm going to go over to light because this light helps me out. Oh, I totally forgot. i got to make a video on these guys, so I'll probably do that in this in just a bit here. Um, but basically, what we're going to do is slash core blocks. Okay? And there we go. It changes it for you. And as you can see, you have the leg. That's the leg that everyone likes. And now you're wondering, how do you get rid of it? The player just has to reset. Now, I wish I could do slash uncore blocks, but I really think there's no point due to the fact people might want these legs and then don't want it you know um so now it's it's not there it basically got rid of it and you can do the same thing slash core blocks again um and there you go that's basically all you need so i guess that's all i can talk to you guys about it's pretty cool to think about um and pretty weird to look at i need to change this because it says 1.5 subscribers guys we hit 3.5 so that's pretty crazy you guys um, thank you so much, and I hope you did enjoy this video. We will be streaming very soon, a ton more, and getting a lot into this. Uh, I have a lot planned, and yes. So um, stay tuned, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, like I said. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So peace out, and bye.